what is up you guys welcome back to episode jc outdoors today we are doing a little bit of vlogging action we are first where we're headed we're going to get a deer stand out of the woods because deer season is officially over <laughs> sadly <laughs> but anyway score season is in so we can do some more score hunting videos and not worry about scaring the deer off what is that you guys yes turkey feather i didn't know that was down here Cool. <laughs> I found a turkey fit. Well, I was stuck at the back pocket like Indian, you know what I mean? Well, we're going to do get the deer stand out of the woods. I see it from right here. And you can see my house is right up there. The deer stand is right down here. And we're going to get this sucker out of here and put it somewhere. <laughs> and we're going to actually go test shoot a right, CZ that I was doing the iron sight challenge in the last video. Because my uncle got me some new bullets. A whole lot better for squirrel hunting than my ones I was using which is target loads like target bullets so do, should do a whole lot more damage I never shot a squirrel with a, a hollow point in my life and I shot a bunch of squirrels throughout my life and all been on target loads or or CCI mini man so we're gonna get this old baby out of here and uh, uh excuse me and we're gonna test shoot the gun and that's about all I got and we're gonna do another video tomorrow doing a little bit of squirrel hunting in the morning and we're redoing the iron sight challenge that's why i'm test shooting a gun today with some new bullets where i can test up the bullets out and complete a challenge all in one wad you know what i mean so i'm gonna get this baby out of here and we're gonna test shoot the gun get it all ready and prepped for tomorrow i about fell on my ash <laughs> so i'm gonna and i didn't cuss there it was ash a s h not the big word so cool you jet so we're gonna get this out of here we're gonna haul it somewhere up there and we're going to test shoot a gun stay down. well you guys um i forgot about one little important detail there's some stuff up there you see it there's a little rope looking thing and a little stick looking thing up there for you guys that's what i hang my bow on and my safety belt i gotta go up there and get it i forgot it was up here and i was about to take that deer stand down luckily the good lord reminded me and now I gotta go up there and get that down. Alright. I don't know how I'm gonna prop this camera up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably prop you guys up on a little tree or something. Cock it up toward the skies. And then come back down and cock it, uncock it and put it back on this tree. So, let's get, let's get vertical. Well, we got all the junk down. It's laying right there. Laying right there. We got all that done. Now we just need to get the deer stand unattached from the tree. And then we should be good. <laughs> Keyword should. If I ain't forgetting nothing else, that's all we need to do for deer stand part. Then it's on to test shooting the CZ. Getting our dialed for tomorrow. Tomorrow's challenge video. And right at this point, if you guys want to go blast the subscribe button right now and hit the little bell for you to stay tuned for tomorrow's video, I will humbly appreciate it if you do because it should be pretty, pretty interesting since I don't use iron sights much. I use iron sights shooting squirrels. I, uh, I only went like a few times, counting the times I went, the time I went uh, trying to do the challenge and I only shot one squirrel. 
with iron sights as I only got a I got a shot at or three I think it was two. I shot at another one missed because I didn't hold the bullets. It's interesting, it's a lot harder than a scope. So we're going to get this undid, get all that put in the seat, and we're gonna holler out of here. So I'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna get this all all this work stuff out of the way before we can go have the fun part. So stay tuned. But we got it. We got it out of there, you guys. I'm gonna take a. I gotta take a. I take a minute. <laughs> well, we got it out of there. It is right there. You see it right over there. But we got it out of there. It was real. <laughs> anyway, we got it out of here. Now I gotta think of a place to put it. You gotta put it in the hunting shed, I reckon. You guys reckon? I think I'm hunting shed. Anyway, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna go put it in a hunting shed. My battery's about to die. I'm I'm down to the last one. I only brought two with me. That was charged. So I'm gonna go put this in there. I'm gonna take a break because I I'm gonna take a little break, breather here. Let some batteries charge a little bit. I would just go ahead and do the CZ thing, but because I want to I want to shoot, but <sighs> batteries ain't charged. Poo. Well, I gotta go charge them a little bit. Gotta charge like two or three of them. Make sure I got enough. And then, then we'll come back out here and do a little bit of shoot. So, catch you guys in a little later. Wait, well, guys, we the batteries are charged a little bit, and we are out here with the CZ that we are gonna be using tomorrow morning. And we got the new bullets here. It is a little 22 hollow point by Federal Ammunition. It said 36 grain. It says it goes 1260. The ones I've been using go 1240. So, since it's a little lighter. The other one's lead. Those are copper plated. They go a little faster. So we're going to flank. So they may sh may shoot a little higher or lower or whatever they do. So I haven't shot them out of this gun, so I don't know what they're going to do. So we're going to fire a few shots and uh, see how it goes. And then work away from there. Loading up with 10 rounds. Just start flinging them down range. Some of these shoot a little off. Like a lot, a lot of federal bolts do, it seems like. Like 22 wise that I've noticed, at least in my guns, they shoot, sometimes they shoot a little low left or a little high left, depends on how you sight it in. But most of them shoot pretty dead on, so they're pretty decent bullets for for squirrel hunting, I reckon. That's all she can hold. Ten rounds. No, actually, I see some. I see a little spot on the box, and I'm going to plug some rounds at it. My help would take the safety off, wouldn't it? Dead center. I think. Not sure. I'm gonna fling another one. There's five rounds. Let's go see where they hit. Um. I don't know, actually. There's like the three group right there. Those three are old. I'm trying to figure out where these things are hitting though. Are they hitting too high? They may be hitting too high. Because there's five. There's like, there's a big hole right there. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot this little piece of cardboard right here and put a little something on it for me to aim at. I'm actually just going to throw a bullet hole on it. And then I'm going to aim at the bullet hole and, and go off of that. Because I can't find where they're hitting. So, let's go back up here and see what they do. Alright, here we go. Alright. Looks like the hole got bigger. Alright, five rounds. Let's go down there and take a look. I ain't really, I'm hardly taking my time on this. 
if I really wanted to, I'd probably get them a little closer, but here's what we did. There's five rounds touching at 15 yards. Well, I think we're going to test shoot it at 35, because sometimes I get a 35-yard shot, and we're going to funk some and see how it goes. Because I, I, I don't usually get 35-yard shot with open sights. I don't usually take them. But I'm going to give it a old-fashioned try and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Here we go. They should have stacked right there. Well, you guys, we got her set. There's four bullets in a three-quarter inch group. These two bullets shot off. It was just some of those 22 bullets to just shoot everywhere. But we got her set. We shoot in a three-quarter inch group. That's the best you're going to get out of these son of a guns. From my experience, they shot the same with my 22 Savage. They shot three-quarter inch groups, and I usually get, like, bust sticks with it at 35 yards. That's the best you're going to get out of these bullets. Sadly, but that's the best you're going to get. But you guys know what to do. I want you to go bless the subscribe button right over here. Check out my social media right over here. Check out these other videos if you haven't seen them. The best for you and the latest video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next. Peace out, everybody.